Hi, I'm Jale. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Virgo All Aspects and all the Cross Watcher for between now and the end of August. <clears throat> Remember, this is a general reading. Table resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not for you, check out other aspects and of your chart. Could well be that those videos resonate more. And or check back in the next round of readings I do. Could well be that I pick up. Sorry about all the kids screaming. <laughs> <clears throat> could well be that I pick up on your story um, the next time. Use discernment, use your intuition. If this is not your message, don't make it fit. Personal readings are available. Information is in the description box below. So let's have a look at the overriding theme here. <clears throat> we've got the gem, the lover and the desert, right? So again, we've got swan, very strong swan energy. It's interesting. There's some pearls here. There's some... <laughs> I've got to laugh. These kids are... Uh, absolutely having the time of their life <laughs> maybe you've had a bit of a, a slump maybe you know you felt like there wasn't really a lot going on maybe things were a bit dry with this desert card here <clears throat> there's gems being offered between now and the end of this month right could be that you're starting to put your energy back into yourself so rather than ex expecting someone else to put that energy into you you're then giving it back to yourself this is asking for you to change <clears throat> To be receptive to change here so maybe you've been expecting something from somebody and they're not delivering and because they can't maybe and spirit are asking you to refocus on the self okay so let's have a look at the other messages for you guys between now and the end of this month so we've got some energy here <clears throat> someone wants to try and maneuver themselves into a new position okay so it could be that you've just learned a lesson uh, around your loving yourself self-acceptance and you're trying to experiment with that maybe maybe you want to learn a little bit more about your own spiritual development maybe you feel you've got abilities that you want to look into maybe these abilities are going to help you understand something between now and the end of august my guide's saying pay close attention pay close attention they're also saying here nourish the soul so again if you are feeling very empty if you're feeling very sort of forlorn um, it's <clears throat> about you taking those layers, having fun, you know, um, connecting with your inner child. There's no coincidence with when I'm recording these readings with the, you know, outside noises. I've just had the ice cream van go past as well. Um, it's about the nurturing of the self, not expecting others to do that for you and to know how to, to understand what your soul needs. So maybe you're feeling very empty and spirit asks you to look within to go within and start digging a bit deeper here let go of the old the old doesn't serve the old way of doing things does not serve this is peacock energy so very could be a bit of a, an ego energy here that maybe your ego's been a bit bruised or something um sorry these kids are making me laugh <laughs> the the high pitch noises are especially uh really really great for me to listen to maybe this is the thing maybe you're overwhelmed sensory overload here maybe you felt so overwhelmed that you're trying to look for something else and the answer is always going to be within but also about shifting those layers of old kind of ways of doing things and really get into the heart of matters it could be really significant for you let's see what else spirit have to say here for you guys let's see what what else is coming up between now and the end of august please for the virgos what else do the Virgos need to be aware of? What else? Yeah. Again, it's this ego element. Again, someone's in denial here. Okay, it could be you, could be someone you're around. I think that where it says let go of the old, it could be a little bit of yourself. That is a little bit of a fear of the unknown. Maybe you're in a little bit of denial here about the situation because pride is in the way. And instead of letting something go, and loving yourself um focusing on the self you're entertaining a situation because you you're externalizing your what your worth essentially your your expectations potentially are it's a codependency where pen, potentially you're expecting others to contribute whereby for you to top yourself up would be the best option um my guides say it always starts with the self which actually is really true so if you've got issues it could be that there's something within you that you're not acknowledging and this is a, a kind of projection a mirror that you're is trying to help you understand what exactly this life is for my guide's saying this life is for living 
Are you living? Are you living in the past? Where are you putting your thoughts and energy? Because wherever you put your thoughts and energy, it's not working from what I'm looking at. All right. So Virgo energy, please. Between now and the end of August. By the way, if my voice is going weird, I've got a fan in my face because it's really hot. We don't have aircon in the in the UK. All right. So it's a very hot day and uh, obviously it's a little bit warm. Okay. So <clears throat> you could be putting your stability into another individual and wondering why things aren't moving again we've got that emotional kind of discomfort with the desert that needs to adapt that need to find your own inner wealth so that someone else if you're not recognizing your own inner wealth no one else is going to do that for you we've got the element of earth here you again you could um obviously that would be you virgo but this person could also have um heavy earth element um in in their chart your chart this is stuck energy there's a stuck <laughs> there's i've got a laugh it's just making me giddy listening to those kids have a, the time of their life maybe that's what you need maybe this is this situation is not doing it for you we've got the moon here as well right we've got pisces energy and then we've got the fish in reserve re reserve <laughs> reverse the there's something hidden let me see what this hidden element is what is the moon representing you're not listening to your intuition that's what i'm being told someone is so competitive wanting to win that you're going against your soul to do it is what i'm being told this <clears throat> nourish the soul card this landed on it you're so focused on getting it done and completing things what are you going to get at the end of it though what will you receive at the end of this because there's a warning here there's a lighthouse okay so obviously lighthouse they navigate the ships right so <clears throat> they can help the ships to navigate where they're going it's, it feels to me like you're ignoring all the signs this lighthouse is trying to steer you the light is trying to steer you but you're stuck in this energy of it feels karmic if i'm honest with you this is in relation to romance okay so there's a, a stuck energy around you and somebody else uh, a partnership isn't quite what you thought it would be is what i'm hearing it's not the way you expected it to go and there's a lot of illusionary energy here with that, that moon energy a lot of stuck emotions with that again strong pisces energy we've got the sun as well that's come out okay so obviously this is the bringer of the light this is about ego self-realization maybe you're going to have a realization between now and the end of the month that is like like a perception shift it's like the light is shining on things <clears throat> that is actually going to set you free this is how i'm healing i'm feeling it there's going to be light shone on a situation that has previously been hidden so if someone was hoarding things if someone was giving lip service if someone was being secretive there's going to be a reveal okay and i feel like it may not be received particularly well it feels a little bit bumpy okay so let's have a look yeah the re reveal could be that there's other options either on your side could be a gemini involved or it could be that you've got options or the person you're with has options okay or the person of interest that you're looking at now one of those could be a divine counterpart <clears throat> but it feels like there's been a lot of arguments around this so let's see what else let's see what else spirit have to say here yeah it's like you're expecting a new beginning but it's not coming we've also got another moon so let's have a look into that something that is what is this child and moon could even be a child involved here maybe someone's expecting maybe you're expecting it's karmic there's going to be a reveal around a situation either a new beginning or a child right and it's going to come as a shock right because of this now obviously what they're saying is it's going to be illuminated between now and the end of the month so if you're already watching this going oh i'm no i'm not having it and charging in like a bull in a in a china shop wait it out and observe because if you jump in now you're probably not going to see all, or f know all the information bide your time get to know what is your surroundings that's the way the guides are giving it <clears throat> but it is going to be unexpected you're not going to be expecting this 
Mm. This could actually fall around the full moon. Okay, so pay attention for that energy. Whatever it is, it's a get out of jail free card. Okay, because whatever this brings, the gem could be a gem of wisdom. It could be a gem that ignites your soul to allow you to feel less guilty about leaving this person behind and moving forward. Whatever it is, it closes things out. Okay, it also helps you see through the facade. You could even be getting abilities here. Maybe you're because the owl is the messenger, right? So it could even be with the sun that you're getting some intuition downloads here that is going to shed some light on things that maybe you can get to the bottom of last, you know, before. Let's see what else. Yeah, it's going to help you with a rebirth. This is Scorpio energy. There's going to be a death and rebirth in this situation. So it could be that, you know, again, the tower. All right. So there's a lot of movement. There's a lot of movement. Right. Let's see. What is this tower and this <clears throat> karmic energy spirit what is this moon reveal this tower it's to do with a partnership it's to do with a break in a partnership so if you've recently broken up if you've recently been ghosted if you've recently had a breakup there's something more behind it and it's like if that hasn't already happened you'll there's going to be more information coming out can you give me some more on this tower this rebirth and what exactly is going on here please <clears throat> someone is non-negotiable on something so it could be that you're separated from your person you're apart from your person one of you're both standing firm on your boundaries um it could be the distances of and affecting the connection and one or both of you are going to have to make a call. So let's say, for example, you've moved away and this person won't come to you. I feel like they're going to stick to that. And so you're going to have to have a backup plan here. Um, you're going to have to have a backup plan. There's a judgment call here. Um, yeah, I think you might even want to walk away from this because it's going to get to the point where you are expecting a commitment and they're, they're not providing it. And it's getting to the point where you're just like, well, why? what's the issue what why won't you do that okay so just they're saying pay attention the signs are all around you <clears throat> if this is your scenario you must maintain honesty and communication so let's say for example you get to the point where you're ready to make a decision make sure you're articulating that don't beat yourself up either because remember we've got the gem here so there's a hidden blessing i feel there's a bit of a hidden blessing and this may be easier than you expect it to be and there's a there's an opportunity that will arise from it not every closure is a bad clo is a black a bad thing it could be a blessing in disguise is what i'm hearing right virgos please <clears throat> someone's throat chakra could be blocked as well so again we've got the honesty and communication maybe you're not comfortable being honest with your person and you don't know how to do that you need to start because i think it's going to confusion is going to get more oh yeah someone here could be in a third party situation could be multiple options someone is wanting to offer a commitment elsewhere so it's like if you were on a break someone is going to another option so let's say you have are on a break or the the commitment is is up in the air you're not sure what's going on this is going to be a reveal of why so maybe you didn't understand why this person wasn't coming forward you're going to find out more about why show me a little bit more about the situation if you can spare what's that okay <clears throat> <clears throat> okay we've got what's this you feel like this person needs to step it up but they're not doing it what is this justice on the knight of cups there's a, a lot of drama here. You feel like you're being left out in the cold and your person's not being honest. <clears throat> that's that's the issue, the main issue. You you feel like and so you're getting very defensive about this. You feel like this you want commitment and this other person is is not ready. This other person and it's you're in the middle of all this. Um possibly feeling a little bit left out. They're showing me an end of a commitment here. Okay, but also an end of a lesson possibly. Virgo energy please what else do the Virgos need to know why do I feel like every time a card comes out I'm, I'm like 
it's like oh my goodness what next there's gonna be some gossip uh oh someone is gonna try and manipulate information you hear and it's gonna be in relation to a third party you need to be careful because someone is meddling someone is meddling here um and i feel like it's from an unknown source i feel like whoever you think it is it may not it's someone who my guide is just saying you're being you're being set up i feel like <clears throat> you're going to be led to believe that it's this other female's fault it's going to be let it's going to be presented in a way that makes you believe it's another female's fault you need to be careful because i feel like this person's manipulating you it's like they're they're using you they've disconnected for a reason um <clears throat> possibly to make someone else jealous but they just be careful because this this person feels very selfish yeah look look that they've already emotionally walked away right because they want control this person is wanting control this person wants to have i'm hearing the upper hand this person wants to, again toxic energy be careful they want to be in control of this is an obsessive energy that wants control right now i feel like they may come forward with an offer that is more friend based <clears throat> it's just it's going to be just enough to keep you around but won't be a commitment so if you're expecting a commitment from this person oh i don't think they've been telling the truth yeah look this fell out on let go of the old it's like illusions deception and again you need to speak up i think once you collate and gather all your information because that's what i'd be doing <clears throat> i'd be gathering all the information i need and i'll just be standing back and watching if that was me and getting on with things because i feel like this come what may this is going to be a scenario that's going to happen but make sure you're not in your ego all right remember this is not personal if this person is not mature enough or capable enough to heal themselves and they're projecting all over you it's not your problem let them deal with it it's not it's not for you to clean their mess up you know all right where are we going spirit with this all right just saying other deck this one all right what do you what do the virgos need to know what else do the Virgos need to know? I'm hearing deception, so you please be careful. Right. Okay. So this has been set up. It's a karmic setup for you to really evaluate you. Okay. It's it's a mirror. It's trying to show you where have you deceived yourself? Where are you deceptive to the self? Why, if you're not putting the energy into you, how can you expect anyone else to put the energy into you? This is meant for you to be aware of, of the dynamic so you can move out of that and meet someone that is going to meet you on that level. But because you would have learned this, you'll be attracting someone that will be mirroring that level of self-love. And to reiterate, they're saying unchanged. At this time, the situation is stable, unlikely to change. So they're saying, if you're expecting in, in a few months for this to progress, maybe you're sitting thinking, oh, I'll just wait for just until December and then things will move. It's It looks like it won't. All right. So if you're ca in a casual connection, then great. If you want more commitment, it looks like it won't be offered. There's also going to be a bit of provocation here. So you need to watch out. It's like someone's going to stoke the fan the flames a little bit it's like someone's deliberate could even be this person that wants to get you a little bit annoyed so that again you are fighting with this third party and the the main perpetrator the main perpetrator this toxic energy is is kind of watching from the sidelines enjoying it so just be careful all right just be careful all right anything else you've got other options you're also your intuition may be again heightened okay maybe you've got having dreams maybe you're again you could be receiving communication or you could be contacting somebody to get more insight once you hear this rumor right let's see the outcome please for the virgo what is the virgo outcome between now and the end of august again there's going to be a lot of confusion so if you're expecting a completely clear outlook by the end of it unlikely 
so do what you need to do don't rely on this other person this is a very apathetic aloof energy that they're 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 not even focusing for me i feel like they just want to kind of rub the salt in the wound a little bit again ego it feels like an ego battle this feels like a power play so be careful that you're not fully invested in something that someone is not fully invested in all right right last message fortune cookie for the virgos what do the virgos need to hear or know we've got luck we've got future we've got twists and turns so there's going to be a change of luck probably when you've stepped away from this energy there could even be um you may travel in the future there could be some plans to travel in the future i'm going to say this as well if you've planned to travel with this person it may not go ahead um, so just watch that and then we've got twists and turns carefully made plans here we go look so it validates this in the card carefully made plans could be thrown out the window as major changes interruptions surround you make sure you get lots of rest to cope with the upheaval it feels like somewhat you're planning things and the last minute they're gonna ghost so you need to be very careful care required guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this point in time so again even the cards are confirming because there's going to be a bit of remember we have the tower as well so there's going to be a surprise all right so guys take care hopefully that's of some help thank you for your likes your shares and your subscriptions it means a lot to me until next time guys take care